Our daily devotional and prayer for today comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. For today's thought, anxiety can ruin a day. Most of our anxiety centers around something terrible we think will happen. Of course, this would make anyone anxious. But the truth is that most of the time, the terrible things we think will happen don't. That is the dilemma. We believe so many lies. No wonder Jesus said that the truth would set us free. So what is our definition of terrible? Basically, it is something that we think will be more than we could ever endure. It is a frightful dread. It is beyond human endurance, worse than anything we can imagine. According to William Bacchus in his book, Telling Yourself the Truth, there are four areas of anxiety. They are fear of losing someone's love, fear of making someone angry or upset, fear of public embarrassment, fear of pain and death. Now Jesus comes along and says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Apostle Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything. Bacchus suggests that you can minimize your fears until you see them for what they are, lies, and do not be anxious. So, today, Realize that you have a choice and choose not to be anxious. Today, believe the truth that you can trust God and choose not to be anxious. Today, when anxiety comes, know that the terrible dread that it conjures up is a lie and follow Apostle Paul's instruction. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. For today's prayer, Father God in heaven, I give you my anxious heart. Forgive me for believing so many lies in my life. Help me change my core, my beliefs, and bring them in line with your word. Today, I choose faith and choose to bring all my anxieties to you. Take them on, Lord. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Thank you.